Hey guys, how's it going? Now when it comes to boot times on your Windows PC, the go-to recommendation on how to speed things up is to just install an SSD. While that is in hardware effect, the software can still cause issues, making your system boot up quite slowly. So how do you fix that? Now that's what this video is all about. This is one from Guiding Tech and in today's video, we'll be talking about 7 of the best easy simple tips and tricks in which you can ensure that your PC does not take forever to boot up. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is disable fast startup. I know, contrary to its name, fast startup can actually make your PC boot quite slowly. To do that, click on start, type in control panel in the window search and press enter to open the control panel. From here, select power options. Go to choose what power buttons do from the left hand sidebar. You will need administrator permissions to disable the fast startup. So for that, click the text at the top that reads chain settings that are currently unavailable. Finally, uncheck the turn on fast startup box followed by save changes at the bottom. Next up, let's tackle one of the most common problems that might be affecting your boot times. See, when your PC is loading up, a lot of apps are also starting up, you know, that have the option enabled to start at boot. Chances are you do not really need most of them and which is why it's recommendable to just disable them. To do so, press Ctrl Shift Escape to open the task manager window. Click on more details button at the bottom and head over to the startup tab. Here you'll find a list of programs that automatically start whenever your PC boots up. Click on the unnecessary program and click on the disable button at the bottom. Once done, reboot your PC to see if this method reduces the boot time. Now another thing that you can do is reset the virtual memory for your Windows 10 system. See basically what it does is that Windows 10 uses some space on your hard drive to get more space for your RAM. Now resetting this can actually affect your system's boot times too. Here's how you can do that. Just click start, type advanced system settings and hit enter. Under the advanced tab, click on settings under performance. Again switch to the advanced tab and then under virtual memory, click on change. From here, uncheck the option automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Now select the primary drive where your OS is installed and choose custom size. Set the initial size to the recommended value seen on your screen and the maximum size to three times the size of your RAM. Then click OK. Now Windows 10 comes with a lot of features and one of them is a Linux terminal. Surprisingly, disabling it can actually improve your boot times. To do so, press Windows key plus R to open the run dialog. Now type in optional features and hit enter. In the Windows feature window, scroll down and uncheck the box that reads Windows subsystem for Linux and then click OK. Just wait for the feature to be disabled and then click on restart now. Okay, another thing that a lot of people have said is that apart from just slow boot times, they also get a black screen when your system finally boots up. This could be a major issue with your display driver and as such, just updating your display driver could fix the issue for you. To do that, just press Windows key plus X and select device manager from the list. Now expand display adapters and then right click on the graphics card name and select update driver. Select search automatically for drivers and wait for the process to complete. Usually, Windows manages to find the best drivers for your graphics card. That being said, if you're using a dedicated graphics card from NVIDIA or AMD, it's possible that Windows might just download a slightly outdated but still comparatively newer version of the driver. Basically newer than what was already installed but still comparatively outdated as compared to what's actually being latest on there. In that scenario, you can use NVIDIA's GeForce experience or download AMD's drivers from their website and you know just move on to the latest version. Now keep in mind that moving on to the absolute latest version might introduce problems of its own. I mean, there are times when my editor has faced issues with their Premiere Pro crashing just because they updated to the latest version of NVIDIA's drivers. So maybe it might not be a bad choice to just resort to what Windows selects for you. In some cases, Windows does know what's best for you. Now, another thing that could be causing a lot of slow boot times for your system could be some virus or malware. I know a lot of you guys just prefer using Windows Defender, but let's be honest, it's not that good. If you do not want to spend a lot of money and just want a new free antivirus software, we have a dedicated video talking about the best free antivirus softwares that you can download for your Windows PC right now. Go ahead, check that video out and install the antivirus of your preference and run a thorough system scan to just clean your setup. 
lastly if all else fails then probably resetting your pc might be the best option i know it's a little bit hardcore but well yeah you got to do what you got to do to fix things up right to reset your pc press the windows key plus i to launch settings then tap on update and security select the recovery option from the left and under the reset this pc option click on get started now select the keep my files option to commence the resetting process without losing your files do note here that resetting your pc will remove all third party applications settings and utilities so yeah keep that in mind and well that was it if you found this video helpful make sure to let us know by giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more awesome tech content till then this is one from guiding tech and i'll see you in the next one